right, so number 15 is the last question on the sample exam. Um, again, we see what's clearly a uh, arithmetic or geometric sequence problem. We're told that there are 20 rows of seats in a concert hall, 25 in the first, 27 in the second, 29 in the third, and so on. So we can see a nice little pattern here, right? 25, 27, 29. We're just adding three, uh, two each time. So the next one's going to be 31 and 33. Row one, row two, three, four, five. And we're going to 20 rows, right? Now, it says if the price per ticket is $23, how much will the total sales be uh, for one night concert? 80% of the seats are taken. So we've got a lot of hints here. One, we can already see, we figured out the pattern. We're adding two. So this is arithmetic, right? We've got a nice little hint of total um, because we want to figure out how many total sales there are. So we need to figure out how many seats were sold. To fit, if they sold 80% of the seats, then we need to know how many total seats there are. So we need to add up all of this stuff, right? That's our goal. So we need to do an SN for an arithmetic. And we need to do this for 20 rows. We're going to be finding S of 20. 20, first row has 25. I'm going to have to figure out how much is in the 20th row and 2. So I could always count my way over to the 20th row or I can be a little more clever about it. I know that the A20 is going to be the first one, 25, plus 20 minus 1 times our difference of 2. So I'm going to go figure that out. 25 plus 20 minus 1, there's no parentheses, times 2, we're at 63. 63 are going to be in that last row. Okay, and this is my calculation to figure out how many total seats there are. 20, 25 plus 63, all over 2. There's 880 seats in the actual theater. Now, they only sold 80% of them, so I'm going to have to take 880 and figure out which, how many they actually sold out. So this is going to be 704 seats sold, and they made $23 per ticket. So each of those gets them 23 bucks. They have made $16,192 on tickets. Um, again, you could have done this as a unit conversion, but I feel like this one is actually simpler to sort of common sense your way to.